another day, another video, I guess. Um, this is the uh, Sullius Air dingus, and I'm quite excited to take this one apart because I have a lot of curiosities with this machine. So, we'll see what makes this piece of crap tick. There's a whole bunch of stuff on this machine that just confuses me. This is here. The screws are already like different sizes, which is somewhat annoying. This whole front cover, it looks like these come off in, in halves. This one looks like it's going to be a lot more difficult to get apart compared to the other unit. expect us to take this apart. somehow. Damn. How is that being held in? Oh, there's another screw that's hidden. Of course it's one of those. Oh, this was covering up the screw. So, for this side, this piece which slides off, can go in the bin. Now I can get to this hidden screw. I saw the arrows on it, but I thought that was something for like a drain mechanism or something. So, I guess that means this should just come right off, hopefully. Here's the unit. It's ugly without everything, like, in place. They got the capacitator here for the compressor, fan motor, um, class toy control box here. This thing which looks like maybe another control box. This is all plastic. There's like screws everywhere. They're like all in random spots too. The 
these two out because these are kind of sunk in and then I'll start hitting them off with the uh, the impact gun. Those two at the bottom also held on this whole assembly. This looks more kind of like a skeleton than anything. I think that one just holds the capacitor in place, but we'll remove it anyway. Make it easier for us in the future. Crazy design. I see the same green zip ties in there that Frigid Air had. So, in theory, I see clips on here. That's off. It has the same green zip ties that that other unit had. I don't know why this is attached. Unless the control panel on the top comes off like this. Which of course it does. A crazy design. maybe. Okay, I gotta remove the control board first and I have to use this small screwdriver for that. Because the little screws that hold on the control board, they're really small for some reason. This thing is way worse than the Frigidaire. I knew this was going to be, like, really hard to tear apart, so that's kind of why I held off on it. So, here's proof that that Frigidaire is made by Gree. And it was made during the time of the uh, dehumidifier recall crap, so that thing... Those are probably recalled. I'll have to look my model up online and see if it is a uh, 
recall the unit. Because if so, then I'll just decommission mine prematurely. Because I don't want the refrigerant to leak out on it and in it to cause a house fire or something. Now the control board can come off control panel. Oh, another screw hiding here. I don't know why I'm taking my time with this and I could just cut the wires because I don't plan on reusing anything from this. Machine. Yeah, it just fell apart there. It scratched me too. Electronic control panel. And start clipping. Oh, it looks like there's another control box here on the top, too. Definitely really like to use in these green zip ties in this machine. See some broken plastic in there from probably me trying to get off those front guards. like like really brittle so it must have had like heat exposure or something no oh, there's like a plastic clamp there already so this right here is like crumbling too. This line must have got really hot. This should not crack like how it is. That is, it should be like all soft and malleable, not crunchy like this. Let's look at this. That's not what it's supposed to be. It should be like this, where you can just kind of squeeze it and stuff and it'll be fine. So definitely something bad going on there with that. Oh, you better poke the tool in the right way. how to get this thing off. What do I use on it? The other one was like all soft and malleable. This one's all... I, I don't know. Let's get full switch. This is the same part that was on that fridge there.
standard micro switch in here. Double position, so this one could be normally open or normally close. These are nice. Keeping that. Control panel looks like I just I think that's soldered on. So I have to take it apart from inside of this box. I don't know what's a fault of control boxes on this thing. It's got one there, there's this one over here, which yeah, this is weird. right where the scrap metal is. This control panel looks awfully similar to the one that was in that fridge there for the uh, controls and stuff. a lot of similarities, at least in terms of parts and things. Let me even get to the clip here. There's that. There's this little notch here in the control box so you can get to the um, capacitor. That's actually kind of smart, at least they cared about something. Same style of 5 microfarad capacitor. So he's probably both used the same fan motor. I don't even know if that was holding in place. They have zip ties holding the coils to the unit just in case if it vibrates and makes some abnormal noise. These coils, they look a lot cheaper than the ones on the fridge there. So I don't know where the failure mode is. It might actually even be in the compressor on this one. I didn't hear any sort of refrigerant noise. all those up. Let's get the grounds out of here.
whole bunch of relays on here. That was another ground. I don't know where all this where all these grounds are going. Control board looks like it's just clipped in here. So I guess I don't plan on saving any of this, so I'll just pry up on it. I want to get these pegs over here. Break the PCB all together, I guess. Screw this, the PCB would just be with it, because the one component I wanted I accidentally broke anyway. This is garbage. This looks like it actually has a proper nice little fan blower assembly here, so I'll be keeping this. There's a nice little terminal cover over this capacitor too, but I don't know how to get to it. It looks like it's a part of the fan assembly. There might be a screw hidden under here, but I don't see it. I see a ground screw. I'll save that nice cable for another project. I like the grounding on this. They did a really good job with all the grounding. So, I guess that's a good thing. If anything is to have a ground fault, it'll be properly grounded. This. I don't even know what that's for. Did something. Um, this is a compressor. I guess I'll just get this fan shroud off. Can't get to that one. Tear this part. Looks like this whole half here might slide up and out. It might just be what I'll have to do. Which then I don't see a screw over here, so. There's got to be a hidden screw somewhere. I don't know how this comes apart. It looks actually looks like this terminal block is screwed on to here. Plus the screws on the other side. Oh, the screw here. Did this come off now? It does not. See the clip down here. Oh yeah, that's screwed in from the bottom. This screw here is coming like through the plastic.
Ah, oh, yes, I got it. I don't, I genuinely don't know how this is attached. to do is remove all of this tape or whatever because it might be underneath this. Oh, I see screw heads. We taped over it. These aren't repair friendly. These are like throw it in the garbage when it stops working and then buy more of our product. Smart consumer would not buy that product unless if it had a warranty, and they would go buy something from the competition. nice notch just to get to the screw with the screwdriver. I like that. So you're not asking yourself how the fuck did they assemble this in the factory. Could have done some cost saving and used the same screw to hold the box in to hold in the capacitor. I don't know, I'm not one of the stupid product designers over at 3. Other 50 microfarad capacitor. This also looks like a Greek compressor, just like the other unit. One of those stupid uh, new wide tech compressors. I do have a machine with one of those. That compressor actually seems to be pretty quiet, but it might just be because that machine has a compressor blanket. So all this stuff goes to the compressor. So this should just be able to be removed. So the fan and its shroud will be set this aside. So I can mess with that later. Uh, I guess it looks like it's time to remove the uh, coil. There's a dead spider in there. looks like right up here. That's where both of these deconnect from. A bit of refrigerant left in there. Unlike the Frigidaire, there's like nothing do not want Really, like screwed down to the machine itself. That's probably where the cap tube is. This here, this insulation can go over into the bin. Stupid sticky shit on it. Now, normally, if a machine like this, you won't be messing around with repairing the system nor the cap tube. I guess the, the way on this machine of keeping the cap cap tube from vibrating is putting the sticky tar like stuff on it. Might also help with uh, keeping the machine cool. I 
I'm not one to know anything about refrigeration equipment, so I can't really say anything about that. Get some of this trash up here behind me while I'm going over to the bin. It's crazy how much plastic waste is on these. Oh, like, oh, it's cheaper to make them out of, all out of plastic. And it's like, yeah, that's true, but I won't say it's nearly as good for the environment or whatever. So, yeah. Coils. Actually, it'd be better if I put them up later, so put this to be oriented. So there's that. See if this part here separates from the bottom. Yeah, looks like it should. Actually, remove this copper tubing. Well, we'll get this piece out of here first. Ouch. Toyed piece there. goes to. another liquid bump uh, tank. I'm guessing this right here, uh, it must just be what this is. This must be the part for the pump. So this whole mechanism here I'm removing is for the, uh, the condensate pump that's built into the machine. I'm surprised it uses like a normal condensate pump instead of like a little like pumping it just to pump it out. But I guess kind of smart, I guess. This right here looks broken. Oh, it's just a rubber gasket. The pump itself actually sits on these gaskets to keep it from like moving. And it kind of feeds into this. Oh, this is, must be where it pumps out from. I see.
you're going to be messing around with this pump at some point. Probably not read it for continuous duty though. So. Well, I guess I'm gonna slide these gaskets back in here. That's gonna be something I'll mess with later. Actually, I'll take these coils over to where well the coils go, I guess. The old dehumidifiers are much more simple, so if I have one of those that fails, it won't take that long to disassemble like how this one did. So after I got all the pump stuff out, it should just come right out. Unless so there's more hidden screws. I don't see more of the hidden screws. junk avalanche. It has clips. Just like the fridge there. Oops, not my compressor mount. Ugh. And I have the same cheesy compressor mount. Even this foam here is like all crumbling and shit. Ouch! It tried to hurt me. Oh, there's a zip tie there. That's what tried to bite me. Last green zip tie that we're cutting off of this machine. Unless there's one down here. Yeah, this foam is just cracking as I remove it. That's just the stuff on the filter dryer. So, I don't really need full stuff off the filter dryer. I will. I just need to cut this copper line set here.
What a piece of junk this thing is. That's all I gotta say. So yeah, I had fun tearing it apart, so that's something. I guess now we just pull the uh, compressor out and then we're gonna be done with this video. On to the next project, I guess. It's like the fridge there has these really nice bolts on it. This one's compressor mounts are a bit different than the other one. After we pull off the air flyer, would be finished with disassembling another crappy modern dehumidifier. So thank you very much for watching. I hope the video was actually entertaining, which I don't think it was, but definitely cool for anyone who wants to know how these cheap Chinese dehumidifiers work and how much plastic are in them and how hard they are to service. Um, and how cheap these are, I'm going to definitely be doing more of these. So thank you very much for watching, and keep the breeze.